discard our hand, deal a butt ton of damage to him, and then we win. What's up guys, if you'd like to support our content and pick up this month's amazing proxy rewards, please check out our Patreon page at patreon.com slash it resolves. What's going on everybody and welcome to another gameplay video. Today we are going to be jumping back into Historic with a deck that is reminiscent of a deck that we played last week. So if you didn't catch the reanimator list that we played last week, uh, this is fairly similar in that it has a lot of the same kind of game plans. So the idea is to get a lot of cards in your graveyard, ideally some very powerful ones, and then bring either an instant or sorcery back with things like Mizzix Mastery or bring a creature back with Unburial Rites, specifically Scholar of the Lost Trove, which then allows you to play an instant or sorcery for free from your graveyard. So uh, lots of really cool stuff here. Um, and like I said, it is very reminiscent of last week, but we do have some really interesting elements here. So uh, first of all, to look at the uh, discard package, we do have, of course, Faithless Looting. Uh, Cathartic Reunion, Thrill of Possibility, and Thrilling Discovery, all really, really good options in terms of uh, discarding stuff from our hand. The idea is, if we can, we get Peer into the Abyss into our graveyard, uh, we play Peer into the Abyss using Scholar of the Lost Trove, we then end up getting things like Omniscience down by using things like Eerie Ultimatum, uh, and then we play Fateful Showdown for free, discarding our hand after we've played the Jace, and then basically drawing our entire deck for the win. I know that sounds really complicated and hopefully we can pull it off and you guys can kind of see how it works, but it's a really, really sweet deck, very, very heavy on the uh, the discard outlets here. This does have some controlling elements, which we didn't have previously. Things like Settle the Wreckage and Wrath of God, just to keep us in the game. We obviously are a Yorian deck, so 80 cards is what we are looking at, and that's a lot. So we do need to have some ways to kind of control the game and get ourselves where we need to be. We do have Masterminds Acquisition as well. That's going to be able to pull some stuff from the uh, sideboard here as we need it. So we'll see how this goes. I'm really excited because I love Reanimator, and hopefully we'll have a fun time doing it. We are going to send it through three best of one games. So we'll go ahead and jump into game one and see how it goes. All right, guys, here we are for game number one, and unfortunately, I don't think we can keep this hand. Uh, well, if we do get another land, hopefully we'd be able to play these. I mean, definitely Thrill we could, but Thrilling Discovery, maybe not. So I'm going to go ahead and mulligan this. We just kind of need to make sure we've got some lands here, and this is much more keepable. Uh... I think we throw Ruinous Ultimatum back. I think that's probably the worst of the big spells in this list. Um, there are a lot of really interesting ones. Emergent Ultimatum can really help finish the game. There's there's some really powerful stuff that we can do. So uh, I would think uh, we should be able to do some better stuff than just Ruinous Ultimatum. But this goes ahead, gets two of our big spells into the yard, and uh, draws us two more lands, which is good. We do need to get something like, uh, like either Mizzix Mastery or... Um, uh, oh my gosh, I can't think of it. The reanimator spell. Why, Unburial um, Rites. Wow, I am silly. Uh, but, uh, other than that, you know, we're, we're not stressing too hard at the moment. So, let's do this. We're gonna get rid of one of our lands here, and it is actually gonna be the World Tree. And there's an Unburial Rites. So that's very, very good. We don't have anything quite yet to get with it. That's the only trick. We do want a creature in the graveyard here, uh, to be able to get with this, but... We can Thrilling Discovery, hopefully get some stuff, or um, we can actually Final Parting parting after the fact, but Thrilling Discovery is going to get this, probably a land as well into our graveyard. Ooh, okay, there's Faithless Looting, so let's do that first, actually. Okay, uh, let's do this. Uh, and with Mastermind's Acquisition, part of me wants to uh, not worry about getting... Uh, let's, let's get Wrath of God out of here. We'll, we'll throw that back. Um, let's get you out. And let's Thrilling Discovery getting rid of, I think, these two. Oops. There we go. Uh, and hopefully we can get... Okay, there's Mizzix Mastery. That is fantastic because that's going to allow us to then play things like Emergent Ultimatum, which is just ridiculously good in this scenario. <laughs> Uh, very smooth by the opponent. I like that. Um, all right, let's go ahead and throw this out there. Let's throw the Mizzix Mastery out, which is going to hit Emergent Ultimatum. Uh, yes, I would love to play that. Uh, all right, so. And they just give up. All right, well, that was really quick. Uh, 
Fair enough. Okay, we did it. Uh, let's go ahead and jump into game two. All right, guys, here we are for game number two. And again, I don't think we can keep this hand. Uh, not only do we not have any white sources for this, we have no discard outlets. We really don't have a great hand there. And this is better. It's not great, but we are going to keep it. Uh, this does allow us to get uh, an eerie ultimatum in the graveyard with things like Thrill of Possibility. So I think that this is worth keeping. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and throw this Sacred Foundry out first and we'll see how this goes. I hate that we didn't really get to see how the deck performs after, you know, we kind of get it going. Uh, but you can tell, obviously, people are scared of it. I mean, the power level of that was fantastic. So uh, it did allow us to, to very quickly win, which is great. We'll go ahead and discard the Eerie Ultimatum. Draw a couple cards, perfect. We got a Mizzix Mastery, which just means turn four, we should be able to do the uh, Eerie Ultimatum trick pretty quickly here. Uh, depending on what we draw, we can also Thrilling Discovery next turn, get rid of Eerie Ultimatum plus another card, and then theoretically uh, do some really cool stuff. So we'll see. <clears throat> Looks like Enchantments, uh, which is a really sick deck, very, very powerful. We do have the Wrath of God if it comes down to it. Uh, so we'll see how this goes, but hopefully we won't need it. Uh, I'm going to World Tree. We're going to Thrilling Discovery, discarding you and probably you. Uh, get two cards in the yard and then draw some stuff. Perfect. Uh, the cool thing about the Mizzix Mastery is late game, obviously, you can overload it and just go crazy with it, but you don't actually have to. You really only have to get one really good spell off uh, with the Mizzix Mastery, and thankfully we can do that. Um, they do have the reduced to memory, so worth noting that if we get like Omniscience as an example, they can actually kill it, uh, which is, I mean, very much worth noting, no doubt. Uh, but we might be able to just kind of swing it in our favor here. Um, all right, so we do have some options here. We could either just Wrath of God, I mean, that's a safe bet, um, or we could Mizzix Mastery. I actually think I kind of want a Wrath of God here. Um, Maybe that's incorrect, but I'm going to prolong slightly uh, just because I don't really want them to flip this. I I'd rather them not be uh, in a position where if they can get out of what we're doing, they have like lethal damage right away. So I, I think that that's better just to stem the bleeding for a turn. And then next turn, we obviously have the Mizzix Mastery to go for. So, uh, all right. And we're going to do that now. Uh, let's go ahead. Let's physics mastery here. We are going to play eerie ultimatum, obviously uh, I would love to play you and Let's see what we can get. Uh, oh crap. Oh, I'm silly. Oh, no. Oh, I did the wrong thing. Oh, that's okay. Uh, intercept uh, Yeah, unfortunately eerie ultimatum is not the one I was actually hoping for <laughs> that's kind of silly, but it's all good uh we honestly should have gotten ruin. although I guess we didn't have the option. We should have gotten Ruinous Ultimatum in the yard. That would have been way better, but that's okay. Um, ugh, mistakes have been made. Mistakes have been made. It's all good. All right, so we do have quite a number of lands here, though. So this does allow us to get mana of any color. Uh, that's a huge positive because uh, we just get to do this. <laughs> So that's really helpful. <laughs> uh, not only does that obviously get rid of everything that the opponent has, but it sets us up to, to then Eerie Ultimatum at some point again if we would like. Uh, we don't have anything to get um, at the moment, but, you know, maybe we can get something later on. Uh, we can also just get Thrill of Possibility going. Perfect. So let's Faithless Looting first. Ooh, very good. Very, very good. Okay. Um... What do we want to discard? I think Eerie Ultimatum. Uh, and maybe it's Fateful Showdown. Hmm. Maybe not, though. Maybe it's Thrill. I think it might be Thrill. Um, I'm trying to set up for a really good Fateful Showdown, so we'll see how this works. Okay, that's what I actually wanted. <laughs> Emergent Ultimatum, for the record. Uh, all right. Um, well, with that in mind, we can actually ditch that safely thanks to Scholar of the Lost Trove, which we can keep in our hand, and I think we do now get rid of the the showdown. All right, so let's just keep, keep doing our thing. Get rid of these two. And we are filling up the yard quite nicely. Uh, I'm going to let this just enter tapped for now we could have obviously paid two and got yorian in but we are at a loss in terms of uh life total so i want to make sure that we're playing safely 
Uh, and we'll see if we can... I mean, we're, we're going to get to Scholar next turn, which allows us to Emergent Ultimatum. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that. Is this an instant? I don't believe it is. Uh, okay, no, not that one. Um, <laughs> Emergent Ultimatum, that's what we want. All right, there we go. So we definitely want Omniscience. We definitely want... Hmm. I think it's you. And do we have? We do not. It might just be that. Um, we're in a bit of an odd place at the moment where like the the stuff we have is very curious. Um, all right, let's just do this. We're going to try this. It may not be correct. It's OK if it isn't. Um, I mean, they they have a reduced to memory, but it sounds like that might be it because they haven't done anything for the last little while here. So uh, we should be OK. I'm curious to see what they give us, because um, they can obviously only pick two. OK, um, yeah, so we get to play that and we get to play this. Obviously, they're going to kill the Omniscience, I assume, with Reduce, uh, which is fine. It doesn't really matter. Um, we get to Emergent Ultimatum again. Um, so this. Uh, We'll do this, and we'll do this, maybe? I guess we should have gotten Mizzix Mastery. I don't know. Honestly, this is a learning experience for all, everybody here, because this is a bit of an odd situation where we can't necessarily fetch the win immediately, although, truthfully speaking, we probably could. But uh, yeah, I would love to play you and you. Uh, I'm going to target me. So now we draw all of our deck, well, half of our deck, and then we play that. Perfect. And now we can just play stuff for free, uh, which is kind of the sick part about all this. Um, all right, so we do want to play Jace. This has to happen now. This is a sorcery, so that's really, really good for us. Um, where is... Nope, 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 nope. Where is it? This. Uh, can I? No, I can't. Dang. That'd be really sick if we could. <laughs> uh, you. So we Fateful Showdown, targeting them, discard our hand, deal a butt ton of damage to him, and then we win. Look at that. We did it. Yeah, we won twice. <laughs> we had Jace plus the damage. Heck yeah. All right, so that's what we're trying to do. Let's go on to game three. All right, guys, here we are for game number three. And yeah, I mean, this is a decent keep. It's not great, uh, but we do have the Thrilling Discovery. And honestly, Faithful Showdown is like a top end play for just discarding our hand and drawing a bunch of stuff. So I'm OK with this. Uh, we'll see if we can get it to work. Last game was a bit of a I mean, we got there, thankfully, but it was definitely rough. We could have done better, I think. Uh, so hopefully we can make some stuff happen this time around. But regardless, I think we'll be in OK shape. Uh, I'm actually going to discard both of these, I think. Yeah. Uh, draw some stuff. Faithless Looting is amazing. Savai Trium is also not bad because it does just give us another land, which obviously four is kind of the magic number here. So uh, before we do anything, let's Faithless Looting because we may want to bring this into play untapped. Uh, looks like we won't this time, though. Uh, let's do this and let's do this, I think. Perfect. Uh, and I'm actually going to World Tree. Um, that just gives us long term game plan of being able to play basically anything like we saw last time. So that kind of works out great. Um, nice on the opponent's end. This is very, very good. Uh, OK, so what is the goal here? What is the goal here? I think honestly it's fine or fateful showdown. Excuse me. Um, we're going to deal with one of these now. Uh, discard our hand and then draw some stuff. Wow, we've got a lot of land, too. That's interesting. Wrath of God is honestly very good here, uh, so I'm super okay with drawing that. It just means that we literally get to to sweep their board when they don't have a whole lot out, and so we're, we're theoretically going to be uh, in a very commanding position. Uh, let's go ahead and Wrath. Just get everything out of there, and then I'm going to play a land. And then next turn, very crucially, we will be able to play our sixth land. Wow, they Banishing Light for nothing? What was the point in that? 
Uh, and they give up. That seemed a little weird. Uh, what? <laughs> All right. Um, well, I mean, we could count it. I think we're going to play one more. I think we're going to play one more. I don't want to count that last one. So let's jump into game four. All right, guys, here we are for our fourth game, uh, unexpected fourth game. And this is about as perfect as we could ask for. The only thing that we really want is a Mizzix Mastery here because then we can emerge into Ultimatum. Um, but this is very, very solid. Turn one, Faithless, perfect. Ooh, excuse me. Um, oh, good, and a Thrilling Discovery. That's very solid. Uh, worth noting, it looks like an aggro deck, uh, so we do need to be quite careful here. We don't just want to die out to damage, which can very easily happen. Wrath of God is a pretty solid pickup, um, just so we can kind of sweep the board here at some point, but I'm assuming they're going to have quite a number of creatures that can all kind of ping us, so that's a little scary on, our, on that end. Pilfering Imp. Okay, wouldn't have expected that. Um, interesting. What are these decks that we are up against here? Uh, I'm going to Faithless Looting. <clears throat> There's the Mizzix Mastery, which is like absolutely perfect. Um, and with that in mind, we might just want to get rid of Thrill here. Uh, so let's Godless Shrine. <coughs> um, <coughs> excuse me. Goodness, a cough. Uh, unfortunately, we don't have land, so we really need to get uh, a bit lucky here in terms of the top of our deck. Thankfully, we do have Thrilling Discovery plus Cathartic Reunion, so we've got some outs here to get some land, but we really, really need those lands. Um, so let's see what we can do. Okay, we do have to discard a card here. That's not the worst thing. I think it's Cathartic Reunion because Thrilling Discovery is truthfully very good for us here. Oh no, they got a land off the top. Um, it's actually okay. Uh, yeah, we're going to Thrilling Discovery. This gains us a couple life. Uh, we're going to have to discard these two. Um, draw some stuff. We'll play you for red. Uh, so that way we can Faithless Looting. All right, and now we've got lands. I think we just discard these two here um, and really just hope that they can't ditch uh, both lands here. Um, they're gonna hit us for three. I'm glad we had that Thrilling Discovery just so we can gain a couple life here because it is a safer bet for us. Um, we're gonna do it. I mean, we just kind of have to. All right, so it's, let's just double check, but I definitely want to do Emergent Ultimatum here. All right, get that out. Um, gonna play it, obviously. Uh, and then we'll see how this goes. So what do we want? What do we want? Um, we do have to be, again, very intentional with the way that we do this. So I think Omniscience is one of them. I think you are one of them. And I think, ugh, this is a bit tricky. Um, again, this is where I kind of am at fault because I I'm not perfect at this par part of the, the whole thing, so I apologize, but I hope that this works out okay. Uh, and, okay, peer that, and maybe it's... Mm. Let's just get... Uh, let's just get Wrath. I don't know. I Again, I could very easily be doing this wrong, guys. I apologize. This is a learning experience for me. Um, the scholar is an okay draw when you've, or an okay pick when you've got stuff in the yard to really hit with it, but we kind of don't. Um, I mean, we've got an ultimatum, but it's not really the best ultimatum. It's eerie ultimatum, and we have nothing to get back with it other than lands at the moment, so that's not great. So we'll see what they want to do. Um, okay, they put omniscience in. That's fine. Uh, select a player. I think we want it to be us. Um, we are going to get ourselves down in life, though, so that is a bit scary. But crucially, we're going to be able to discard a bunch of stuff here. We just kind of have to hope they don't have three damage, I guess. And we have to discard a bunch. <laughs> like, oh, a butt ton. Um, okay. Uh, settle, we can discard. You, we can discard. Uh, <laughs> Eerie Ultimatum, we can discard. 
Scholar we want to discard for sure. Uh, emergent Ultimatum, Ruinous Ultimatum. Uh, you. You. Yeah, I know. World Tree. We just have to, like, pick a ton of land here. Uh. Oh my god, how many? How many? Oh, pick you. 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 How many? Oh my gosh. World Tree. Okay, submit 24. <laughs> All right, don't deal three damage to me. If we don't deal three damage, I think we can win, but... Oh, that's scary. Do they just have two of these? Because that's really terrifying. Ugh. If they have a skewer, that would be really terrible. Okay, they didn't. That's different. Um. All right, you, Scholar. All right, uh, I think it's just that, but let's double check because that should bring back omniscience and a bunch of land. So I think that that's good. Yeah, we want omniscience back. Uh, you, 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 you. And there were some other lands there, but it really doesn't matter. Um, okay. Let's gain some life real quick. Ooh, that could have been really bad if we hadn't gained life. Uh, you and you. His lands do not matter. There's another Omniscience, which we'll just play because why not? Uh, let's... Scholar, I suppose. Uh, hmm. What do we want? I honestly... Okay, this was my ineptitude playing this game. But anyway, we did it, yay! All right, let's talk about this deck for a second. All right, guys, so first and foremost, I do wanna just say that was a learning experience for me. Obviously, we got there. We finally did get some wins, but um, that was a tough one. I There's a lot to this deck is what I will say. There are obviously much better players out there, so if you do want to uh, maybe see this deck in its true action, uh, maybe go check some other people out. But uh, this was a really fun deck, and it does work very, very well. Obviously, getting Omniscience down is kind of ridiculous, and this deck does that very very efficiently so i loved it um i really really think this is a powerful strategy a lot of people for whatever reason i see a lot of these style decks like these reanimator lists for both instant sorceries or creatures um because we do have plus uh, both unburial rights and mizzix mastery that's very very doable uh and so i'm seeing a lot more of that recently but all that to say, I'm not seeing as much graveyard hate as I would expect either. Um, certainly there are a few decks that do, but in general I'm not seeing as much. And so on the at least the best of one ladder, I think this is a relatively easy way to get some wins. I also think that playing the, uh, the non-Yorian side of it probably makes it a bit more efficient and a bit more reliable. Um, the other reason I say that is the Orion obviously adds up to 80 cards, so you do have to have at least that many, and that's a lot of cards. So you're going to be, it's going to be more difficult to, to pick up the cards that you'd like to pick up uh, at any given time, but it was still working really, really well. So I love this one. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Please make sure to like and subscribe and make sure you join our membership, our YouTube membership, if you would like to support our channel. But guys, thank you so much. I love you all. I hope you have a fantastic Tuesday and I'll see you tomorrow for part two of Big Creature Challenge Week. I'll see you guys then.